people here. This is so sick, guys. So let's get into it. First map of this tournament. It is going to be LGB starting on the CT side, Fnatic on the T side. And already, Fnatic, a lot of nades picked up, Anders. They're looking like they've got something in mind here. Yeah, but look at LGB. Sentries already out hunting all the way through Squeak. This should catch Fnatic off guard and taking a fight early on, looking for the pick here. This is LGB applying the pressure, but Olaf Meister is going to shut down Sentries. And with the Glock in hand, they're going to be able to push Jacob back as well. So a bit of a failed skirmish coming out here from LGB. I still love the idea. You can't you can't let Fnatic play at their own pace. You have to do something crazy. Yep. It just didn't work. Not this time, but you're right. It is, it, I mean, it's that, it's that lack of experience, but also just the fact that Fnatic aren't going to know what these guys are going to throw at them. So take advantage of that. Try and catch them off guard. Try and push. And we see Jacob right now walking close, but Crane is waiting around that corner. Going to fend him off. Trying to go for the pre-fire here. We lose Polly in the meantime. That was in mid on short, so they're looking like they want to collapse onto this A site. Two kills going Fnatic's way. And that's going to start things off. Rubino on the A site, fixing to get overwhelmed. <laughs> Nothing you can do. And the bomb will get planted. You think Rubino would get maybe one of those kills because they kind of all were in front of him, but in the end, JW to pick up the last kill. And, uh, you know, predictably strong start for Fnatic. But I still think, I still want to give LGB some credit. I think if they had tried to play like the, the standard defense on this map for a pistol round, that would have been a big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bless him, JW. They're looking good. All right, but. That is the start that we predicted here for Fnatic. Three rifles, two MP7s will be the follow-up, so a good combination play there in case LGB elect to go for Kevlar Helmet. But LGB starting to catch up with the new meta here. Not making that investment, just picking up some pistols. They're going to be holding on to more money now for that fourth round buy when they're going to be able to afford to go for the rifles. Means that they'll have more money for nades, essentially, which is so key here on the CT side. You need to be able to buy time, to run time off that clock, to put pressure on Fnatic, not make life easy for them to be able to get onto that bomb site and get a bomb plant early on. Uh, we have the hunt beginning here. Fnatic pretty spread out, although they are kind of gathered around A. Yeah, which is bad news for LGB as they've got the stack going on over at B. Just sentries here with a uh, single 5-7 in hand. And did he get the spot? I think he probably did see someone out in main. Question is if they also saw him. I mean, LGB right now, they're not even trying to sell the fact that there's a stack somewhere else. They're just hoping and maybe they're going to be right. Jacob waiting here in the vents. This could be a big problem for Fnatic. Jacob's got the fire and he's got the armor as well. Trying to get them as they go on, but he's going to miss all the shots. And all of Meister will take the opening frag there. Pronax to follow it up, and it's going to be down to three members for LGB. Good headshot, and all of Meister's gone down. But the follow up grenade here will do a lot of damage and take out Severs. Only a single person remaining inside. It's Rubino. 12 bullets here in the C set. 75. He's going to get the first kill. Runs back. Has time to reload. This is interesting. They're very low on health. He might be able to do some more damage here, but he's going to go down. Flusher with the jumping MP7. It's not, a, not every day we see that, and it works out fine for Fnatic, but they did almost lose four pe people in that round. Yeah, that came way too close for comfort. You're right. definitely not expecting Rubino had, hiding behind for his box like that. They, so they were like, okay, we've already killed three people. This has got to be it. They're gonna be, the rest of them are going to be rotating over from the A site. We haven't seen Rubino yet. He usually plays A site. These are the thoughts that are going through Fnatic's minds, essentially. So they do get caught up in the end, but... They'll be able to recover from that, no problem at all. I think they saved the, uh, the AK from Olaf Meister. And this is going to be another P2, well, basically, pistol eco coming out here from LGB. So, different take, however, this time for LGB. This time, they go for the stack on A side. So they're trying to predict what Fnatic are going to go for. Fnatic, they went for B last time. Might, maybe they'll go for the pointy letter in this round. Yeah, I mean, there's no real science to this. It's just, you know, sort of rolling the dice and saying, well, maybe we're going to get lucky, and they were last time. They've lost poly but they've done some good damage to pronax and especially to the w is down to 24 which is not it's not too bad here again all the damage they can get in is going to be really important but more than anything they need to take a rifle away from somebody on that swedish roster and you can tell that Fnatic are playing is super cool as well nobody is hunting for frags everyone is just holding back even if somebody dies here it's not going to be super easy for lgb to pick up that rifle so yeah safe safe play from Fnatic. Yeah, that's, that door getting closed, though, is going to give away that there's at least two players on that A site right now. And with only three remaining, Fnatic are starting to think, well, maybe we should head over towards the B site. We lose JW in mid as well. Well done there by Rubino. Getting that kill with the P250. But now we can see Pronax leading the charge onto the B site, realizing that it is clear nobody is here. They're going to be able to get the bomb plant for free, and he plants for halls as well. So good safe plant. Fnatic will be able to set up and make sure that LGB won't be able to go for the retake here. And LGB, I mean... What can they really do at this point? Well, you can tell Olaf Meister's in the middle trying to stop uh, anyone from picking up that Galil. Sentries has it now, and Olaf has actually very low on health. 
So they could end up losing another player here, but Olof Meister gonna get the shot. He does go down to Rubino, who picks up a double kill now, which is not too bad. It's two in the last round, two in this round. If they can save the Galil as well, or maybe get another kill in, that'd be interesting. We'll see. I mean, it's not looking like he's gonna have. It's gonna be his lucky day. No save for LGB and Fnatic pick up the third round. So it's a 3-0 lead now for Fnatic going into the first buy round for LGB. And we come back, when we come back, we'll get to see exactly how much money they have to put into this. Because like we were saying, they skimped on Kevlar. They didn't invest that $650 to $1,000 per round, basically, to be able to, to be a little bit more resistant to bullets. Yeah, I think it was just over the 5,000 mark for most of them. So, so they're yeah. gonna be all right here. Polly, no armor. He's gonna go for the smoke and the flash instead. Fnatic going really quickly towards this uh, bomb site. Instant double grenade, but the smoke is going to keep them back for a while. And Sentries is going to find a good timing here. And he's still holding on to that grenade, but this is important, obviously, for LGB. No doubt about it. At this point, they need to be picking up this round. We still expect them to get the majority of the rounds here on cash. We have seen more, you know, 8 7, 9 6 score lines, but 9 6 is pretty much the bare minimum that LGB. Uh, can afford here. They need nine rounds at least versus I mean, Fnatic. Yeah, I mean, uh, playing Fnatic, I'd say they need even more than yeah. that. I mean, I want to see LGB come out of this with like, you know, 11 or 10 rounds just because they're playing such a good team. The Fnatic do get a lot of rounds on the on the both C and TC t CT side here, so it's not going to be easy no matter what happens. Flusher is kind of low on Olaf Meister too. He's down to 11 health, so a really good start for LGB. Now they just need to follow through and actually get a kill on somebody. And you can see Fnatic, they're just rotating all the healthy players in front. And Pronax is going to get the kill there on Jacob. Yeah, nice start. Jacob trying to hold up close, and now they invade behind these smokes that basically set it up for a B split. So that is why we have the rotation coming out now from Rubino, trying to get in position on that B site. And we have Polly also rotating over into CT. Rubino actually in a bit of a tricky spot up here. He's fully committed. He's going to be able to pick off Flush at a start. And a good flash slowing down the players, trying to push through Checkers for Fnatic. Double kill for Rubino, and he even lives to tell the tale. Yeah, very nicely done. Sam is also picking up a kill there. JW gonna miss the shot. He goes down to Rubino. It's a triple kill here for the Norwegian player. And LGB get their first round on the board. And Fnatic were almost out of time as well that round. Very, very good uh, stuff there. And I think they stole that AWP at the end. So they managed to save that. And things aren't looking too bad. And because Fnatic lost a fair bit in the earlier rounds, they're gonna be in a tricky position already. Uh, this was very well done by Rubino. Good teamwork, but picking off both Flusha and Olaf Meister, both of the very low players for Fnatic, essentially. That was very rough there, a rough break for Fnatic. They weren't able to get that pincer movement, essentially, onto that B site from Checkered, from Main, and just go cascading in there. Instead, they kind of got picked off. So, LGB, they've survived the first hurdle, and now it's going to be a pistol buy coming in here for Fnatic with a couple of nades to back it up. So we'll see what they have in mind. But for now, at least, they're playing it very patiently. Very calm, actually setting up four players in garage right now. But there we go, the B-Split smokes come out again, effectively cutting mid in half, allowing them to get up to the vents. So if they wanted to get through, that's still an option. Yeah, they're faking this one, you can tell. They're sort of running into the vents here, and Polly sees it and reads it, but the bomb is in main, and now they're gonna make their way up speedway. Seb is there to stop them for a moment, which means there should be no bomb on here, but Pronax, oh, great double kill. Actually, Krim stealing one of them. Now it's all on Crims. He's going to go down as well. Looked like there was an opening, but not going to get the plant in. Nice fake idea for Fnatic. That's pretty cool. Yeah. On a pistol by, why not, right? You know, you don't really have too much to lose. And if you can catch somebody up close with that Tech 9, headshot will do the trick. And there you go. You can just speed up onto that site behind it. Didn't work out that time, but they still maintain the lead. It's 3 to 2. Fnatic still with that. Uh, with that round advantage going into this buy round for themselves. AKs and a single scout for JW, so we'll see where JW decides to take that scout to start. Well, they're gonna be boosting up on the ice cream truck all the way back here, a trick that we have seen before, mm -hmm. but it's not exactly too common, and they're just hoping that someone's gonna walk in. Polly rotates back towards the middle, maybe there will be an opening, but apart from that, just kind of a, kind of a party trick coming out here from Fnatic, you know? And now they decide to start getting up into that boost spot, and it's not going to be JW boosted up. Instead, it looks like Crims will be moving up. Yeah, he does. And so they could try and set up a split once again. They are still holding back. They've got the smokes, the flashes to clear the way. And Rubino gets dropped on Crims. Manages to catch him completely off guard there. Rubino trying to react, but it was just too slow. So a man advantage now for Fnatic, and they have control of mid as well. So they can pretty much do as they wish with 50 seconds left on this clock. That is a lot of time to work with here for the Swedes. And smoke goes a bit, a bit far in, so actually there was a gap there for Sevis to work with. Jacob dropped very low at the moment. Fnatic down to 40 seconds on the clock. 
to try and make their way into a bomb site. It's going to be the A bomb site. Nice shot from Polly to take down all of Meister. And now the rest are coming through main, but Pronex is ready for him. Polly tries to rotate back out into the angle, and it's going to be down to a 3v4 now. Bomb not planning yet, but Crims with a nice fire there right across the uh, front of the truck to take down sentries. And Jacob and Severs, not sure they should try and fight this. In fact, they will just. Uh, pick up a couple of grenades from a corpse there and then run away. Yeah, unfortunately for them, Polly was holding quad boxes, so they won't even be able to go and save that AWP. So that's a bit of a blow there dealt to uh, LGB. They're gonna have to rely on these rifles and they are pretty low on the money as well, as we can see. So we'll see what they have in store for us next round. If they decide to take the risk and go for the force buy or if they're just gonna try and sit back with the two rifles. I think that they should really just be sitting back with the two rifles, give Fnatic a round and then go in fully bought up after that. I really wasn't sure if Fnatic were going to come into this game thinking, look, we're so much better, we'll just try and get this game out of the way quick, but everything right now is telling us that Fnatic is actually taking this very seriously. Yeah. They're playing defensively up until the 40-second mark, which also means that, because my next advice was going to be, well, maybe LGB could try and play this a bit more aggressively. Sure. Try and counter boost the middle, like they did in the pistol round, push up, squeak door or something. Fnatic are set up defensively all across the board. Any of those strats will probably be caught by Fnatic, so LGB... I mean, they're in a tight spot right now. Exactly. It plays into the lack of experience that Fnatic have going up against LGB. JW with a very quick boost will be able to pick off Polly. And Polly usually playing that mid area, so that's a little bit of information there for Fnatic to go off of. But it is very tricky, basically, for uh, Fnatic. They have to be very careful because they aren't familiar with the style that LGB like to use on CT side cash. And we're seeing a little bit of happy playing out here. Jacob getting boosted up, looking over Big Red, but. He'll be able to back off, or at least it looked like it. We had just a little bit of an exchange of fire over there on the B site, and Zevez trying to play it as safe as possible. It was a force buy, actually, from LGB as well, so they didn't decide to go for any kind of eco or anything of the sort. They were able to stretch out the money just enough there to get a reasonable buy. I don't think they can. I mean, the first time the eco in this half here, Fnatic are going to run away with it. They're, they're only right now being kept in the game by the four rifles that are left in this round. They basically have to win it, and all of Weiss is going to find a great angle. Just the... Uh, Bottom of Sentry's legs showing at the edge of the smoke there. Now a double opening for the Swedish team. Grenade on in, also gonna, oh, it's gonna put some shrapnel into Rubino, not too much. He's gonna move up and the timing is perfect. Gets the kill on Olaf Meister now. Look at the clock here, 28 seconds for Fnatic. And they are starting to push, going for that wrap around Cribs, managing to get up short. They've got four players just converging on this A site. You still have Jacob trying to hold the line here. But the smoke goes down to block him off, and if he peeks out too far, he will get picked off by JW, who's holding that angle. Crims, though, will fall. Bomb will be planted, though, and it's planted for A main. You already have a man fading back into Squeak as well. So this retake is just going to flounder here for LGB. 1v2, though, Jacob brings it back, taking out JW. But now we have the after plants, and he gets spotted out. Flush out with the perfect positioning to catch him off guard. Five rounds on the board for Fnatic. Yeah, hard situation to clutch there, especially when he got caught mid-air. I look at all these people showing up. There's even people standing up behind them. We're just in the first yeah. game of the group stage. It's incredible. It's so sick to see. I love DreamHack, man. I Every wish, time. Can someone get like, uh, you know, DreamHack Summer 2013, like, you know, get a shot of the crowd and then compare it to the crowd that we have here? I'd love that. Yeah, dude. Make it happen, guys. Put it up on the Reddit. Yeah. That was the, that was the first event that I went to that was like a, a big event. That was DreamHack, DreamHack Summer. Summer. Yeah. DreamHack Summer 2013, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then Winter after that, the first major. And that was sick. Yeah, right. that's when things got going, but uh, it's nice that we have it back here. All right, but there's JW catching out Zevas, who's trying to push down short. It's a, going to be another stack here for LGB. Everybody committed to this A side as well, so the remaining four players all focused. Olaf Meister waiting in squeak, but we'll see if he can actually give any kind of info, because right now LGB aren't making any noise. He isn't hearing any steps, so he has no way of knowing how many people are actually holding this site right now. There could be uh, nobody here, for all they know. There could be four players holding on the B side, so now it's going to come down to it. Olaf Meister opening up squeak, spotting the man by forklift, but he doesn't realize that there's a second man playing from there. Good job on Pronax. He's been playing really well this uh, game so far. Yeah. It's Crims and Olaf Meister taking the next two kill. Jacob in the corner. Oh, he does a lot of damage as well to Olaf, but runs out of bullets, and that will be the end of it there. Six and two, and now, now is where I really start to fear that maybe Maybe if Lauren is going to be right here, because this is starting to look ugly. This is where it gets out of control. Then you have all of Meister on your screen there. I mean, some would say the best player in the world. I might be one of them. He is just a monster. Absolute monster right now. It's, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't think a lot of people will end up doubling down on that one. I'm just, I'm actually impressed by Fnatic playing as, uh, as carefully as they are. I mean, that seems like a really silly point to be making, but they are playing 
with a lot more respect for LGB than, than I think I'd normally expect Fnatic to be at this stage. Yeah, we're still early on as far as the rounds are concerned. I'm waiting to see, you know, if they get up to eight or nine rounds, I think all of a sudden that respect might evaporate and they're just going to start running all over the place, right? Uh, now we'll see how things pan out. Yeah, I think it's the format that's doing this. They know two, two losses and you're out. They don't want to give any easy points here. As Polly taking down Olaf, he saw the shadow on the ground as well. Very important point there. Jake from up in the vents. Is he going to go for the fight? He will and actually almost get stuck as Sevis goes down to Crims. That's going to open up the B-bomb site. Nobody here to stop Fnatic, but they're going to counter boost out of the vents with Crims into the middle end. Rubino did not see that coming. JW and Flush are both going down. That's Sentries and Polly doing great work, leaving Crims alone now with a double kill and in a 1v3. And he's tagged very low already here with about 35 seconds and the bomb dropped in front of him in the middle. Should be LGB, but they should be able to communicate with each other here and just make it work. And that's Jacob picking up a kill. Also, I think, uh, he's doing pretty well, just get, stepping back into it. But actually, Rubino is the top fragger right now with 10, 0, and 7. Yeah, Rubino putting in good work. And that was actually very clever there by Crims. He saw where they were coming from. He knew he needed to get that flash down on short to be able to actually jump back in those vents safely. Timing didn't work out for him that time, though. Jacob, one step ahead. And good reaction time there by LGB, basically, to be able to pull back their forces from the B site and start reestablishing some control on mid. Picking off Flusher was basically the key frag there. And now we get into it, 6-3, to three. Fnatic still in the lead, and JW's got that AWP once again, but so does Polly. so... And we can see Polly on that A site. Is there going to be a gap for him to exploit? Olafmeister, I think, is thinking the same thing. He's going to venture a shot, but he's going to miss this time. So close, oh, and now clever. they're boosted up in the back here. Olafmeister trying to look over the smoke. I love that trick there, Pronax being the team player. Rubino now going to be flashed in, takes one, almost a second kill as Pronax down to nine health. That could have definitely worked out, and a double kill to start the round would have been worth its weight in gold here for LGB. Hmm. And now it's going to come down to the man himself, JW. Oh, he doesn't look up! If he just looked up! Now he realizes, easy shot, Dennis is to clear that up, but then the perfect timing from Jacob to point from Connector. And it's going to be the last man here, Pauly, basically holding behind quad boxes, walks out into Crim's waiting arms, however, and it's going to be a two-on-two -two plant situation now. Crim's realizing there's a man holding his CT, he's looking for that headshot, and he's not going to find it this time. Zevez and Jacob going to be closing in on this site now, and there it is. Zevez manages to push in, take out Crim's before he can get into position, and it's going to be flush, a last man alive here behind quad boxes, now realizing I have to turn this into a 1v1 to win this. I have to get a kill here fast, and he's going to set it up to make it look like he's still hiding on the other side. Yeah, inside the smoke waiting, this is where Flusher is so dangerous, but Jacob is going to find him. Great maneuver there, and they have the kit as well. They're going to be able to defuse that bomb and make it to 6-4. That's such a nice idea from Flusher there, and I mean, if you're in a clutch, if you're, then you want Flusher on your team right there. That's, uh, that's kind of his specialty. Also misjudged where he was exactly, where he was standing exactly on the edge of that smoke there. For him to get picked off, a bit of a gaff that uh, that's definitely not something we see every day from Flusha. But still, Fnatic are going to have the money to buy four pl four players with rifles. One sees at 75, picked up on JW. Whereas, of course, LGB now fully bought up. They have everything they need. So in this key round here for LGB, if they can follow this up with a win. They can start thinking about Fnatic maybe going for a pistol eco, and then life gets a little bit rosier for the Norwegians. Polly taking some damage early on, but so is Olaf Meister, so just trading roughly even. And um, Rubino going to fall back from Speedway, so a fair bit of mid-control here in favor of Fnatic, which they almost made word last time. I mean, the fact that JW could even walk in there was, uh, was a really, really big deal. But um, at this point in time, it still feels like Fnatic have control of this game, even though their equipment is lacking somewhat. Yeah. Well, as far as the buy is concerned, Fnatic still waiting, actually setting up. They have Olaf Meister boosted as we can see. Flusha waiting in garage as well, making sure that nobody can push in from B halls, but LGB are holding in a straight line across the map. As we can see, they aren't giving anything to Fnatic. They're running down this clock. Very smart play coming out here from the Norwegians. Essentially, they're forcing Fnatic's hand. They're saying, well, we're not going to give you that easy pick that's going to allow you to gain momentum onto a site. We're just going to sit and wait. We're going to force you to make the move. And Fnatic, Fnatic right now, that's definitely not what they want to do, but they are running out of time. 30 seconds left. Up in this bomb site, though, there's only a single player really holding on the site, so he's better play well. Polly's there to spot them as they come in, but Sentry's in the corner. He's got the health, he's got the M4, he's gonna go down immediately to that C set 75, and JW will run in and pick it up, and it's still a 3v3 now with 15 seconds. It's Polly picking up an important kill on Flusher there, very little health on JW as he runs out the bomb site, but a crucial point here. He's got a Molotov in hand, and he's gonna get a kill on Polly as well. Molotov, is he gonna use it for the bomb? Or no, he's gonna try and block them out instead. 
now this 2v2 still pressing on. Are they going to boost on over? Yes, they will. JW on top of the smoke. Ten bullets left. He sees him, but he's going to miss that shot and goes down. And LGB are going to get the retake home. That was a real opening there for Fnatic to take that, si that seventh round, but they just failed that a tiny bit. That spray, and that is not something you see every day either. What is going on? Flush up missing a clutch situation, and JW just spraying, panic spraying wildly. Half a clip with an M4A1 can be gone just like that. And so five rounds on the board now for LGB. And look at this, Fnatic. This is what this is when it starts to get a little ridiculous for them because they realize, wait, we have six rounds so far. CT sign for us is impeccable. We're starting to get into the into that area where we're feeling very comfortable with the result that we have. Now we start to throw some curveballs. But they have also done the maths and realized that actually LGB really don't have a lot of money either. I think like 2,000 below here, and they're gonna catch Severs. Is the Tech 9 train, and guess who's wielding it? It's obviously going to be all of my yeah, stuff. Look at the reaction on Zevez there as well. He is not pleased about that. Perfect place for Fnatic to push, and they get it done on their first try. Polly attempting to put some damage through here. But the four players for LGB, they've been effectively smoked out of this bomb site. They have to play it patient and wait for the smokes to clear, but then that's not going to leave them a lot of time. Olfmeister peeks forward with Zevez's gun and takes out sentries as well. And JW currently waiting to see if Polly's going to get greedy. But it's, it's starting to look like LGB. They may want to back off and save at this point. They're trying to hold on to the guns. Well, yeah, bomb ticking away here. Nothing that the rest of LGB can actually do. Um, try and save the, the rifle is going to be really critical. Nice shot there onto Flush and nearly brings him down. And he's got some backup here as well, Polly. So I expect he should be able to save the AWP. Jacob hiding in the corner. And they do want to take him out, but he's going to be successful as well. So, you know, making the most out of a pretty bad situation there. And now we have to see if they're going to be able to actually go for the buy. They should be able to drop a couple of guns here. So LGB, again, just barely dodging it. Keeping so many people alive was key at the end of that round. And we have a fully equipped LGB now going up against, obviously, a fully equipped Fnatic. It's getting tense. 13 rounds in, 7 to 5. Fnatic still with that lead. And once again, early Molotov. And JW thinking about just going right through it. He's dancing on the edge right now. Good judgment by him. And instead, it's going to be Pauly pushing aggressive with that off. And B. Halls catches out flush up. Yeah, nice shot from Polly, keeping his cool there. If he misses that one, he's dead instantly. I think Flush had a P90 as well, so that's just, uh, they're definitely going to be gone there. Crims will go down to sentries, and a nice double opening in favor of LGB, and they need it. they got to win every single round, and even then, they got to win the, the pistol on the second half. Such a lot of work ahead of them right here. But they knew what they were coming in for here, and they're playing Fnatic. Best team in the world. JW is going to be jumping all the way up here, and a bit of some counter flashes coming out, just trying to buy time. It's a 3v5, but with that bomb down, it's going to get tricky. All of my kill for the smoke to take down Rubino, and next in line, you can see sentries dropping very low. Polly's almost gone as well. JW will pick him up, and sentries, there's almost no chance any longer. He's going to get the one kill in, but then JW comes through and picks up the rest. And at what point are, at LGB basically does the frustration start to boil over when you have that kind of retake scenario ahead of you and you're not able to get it done, you're just getting picked off one after another through the edge here on the smoke. I mean, that's like three kills happening in the blink of an eye, two of them W as well. Especially that A bomb side because it's actually, I would say, even fairly easy to retake, unlike with the B bomb side, which can be really tough. I mean, if they lose a 5v3 at B, I could understand it, but because it's A, you really want them to win that situation, and LGB know that too. Sev is going to be making the cross, and he's a lot of people. He's just waiting to die. He's like, ah, no, no, no. I'm not even going to run away. This is over. Stand still and wait for Doom. Uh, this is going to be easy work here for Fnatic. They have the nades. They have everything they need to be able to clear out this site. Sp spray going through on a Jacob. Luckily for him, he had Kevlar. He'd be gone right now. And Sentry is going to be the last man trying to rotate in on upper. Jacob is gone. And Sentry is now last man alive here for LGB in the 14th round. He's just looking to do a little bit more damage here to Fnatic, but I don't think that Fnatic are too concerned. They've got plenty of money going into the 15th round as well, so everything is just smooth sailing at this point for the Swedes. Yeah, and Sentries, he's getting caught as well, so this is a, it's just a very bad situation here. Good kill coming in, but overall, Fnatic, they've done exactly what they came to do here in the first half. Uh, they are just pummeling LGB at this point. You know, yeah, this huge crowd here at DreamHack, so sick. Uh, yeah, Rubino, man, he just gets wilder and wilder, actually, every time I see him. The beard, he's been growing that thing for a while now, too. It's the results of living in Denmark, I think, it's, you know. Is the Viking, you know, is, is, is that it? The Viking genius starting to awaken once again? He can't help it. So double up setup coming out now for... 
giving JW and all of Meister everybody wanted to, to have a shot with it. Grim's gonna get overwhelmed there using pretty much his whole uh, magazine just uh, trying to take down Polly, but then ends up dropping Pronax and all of Meister with some good returns and it's gonna give Fnatic the lead once again. Wow. Wow, there's some frag rail stuff from JW. Bunny hops into connector and still gets the kill. And that leaves the two members here, Jacob and Zevez, last two alive for LGB, trying to get in here to find somebody from Fnatic. Big spray battle there in mid, but it's a trade as Olofmeister takes out Zevez as well, leaving Jacob as the last man alive. 1v3, Bomb is getting taken over, or B site getting taken over. Bomb is gonna make its way there, but it's unnecessary. Olofmeister will find the last kill. That ends it at 10 to five. Fnatic with a terrific start in the first half, doing everything that they needed in that, on that T side. It's good. It's really good to see Fnatic showing up with their A game. You don't want the best team in the tournament to start off like a little bit weird. You know, yeah. you, you want to see this type of Fnatic right now. And uh, they're bringing it. I like the fact that they played the first eight rounds at least really, really safely. Made sure that there was no chance for LGB to sneak up anywhere. It was like a, they just had a chokehold on the Norwegian team, but they were never going to let go. And um, the second half here is probably going to be decided by the pistol round. And already, I mean, LGB doesn't look like they're wasting any time at all. It's going to be straight onto the A side, it looks like. Smoke's going down, though, and they are going to get the boost. Polly will be able to run up short. There's a man waiting on that corner. That's going to be JW, and he's boosted up as well. Spots out that movement. Spots a couple players at least there, so that should be enough information now for Fnatic to start rotating over here. Start laying up that defense. They're going to be playing for a retake here as Jacob B. Yeah, he actually starts off with a kill. Yeah, grenade follow-up, and actually, well, they got one kill with the JW with the double, though, and that's going to leave Fnatic a man up. Sentry's holding close and instantly drops all of my a nice position. And with that bomb ticking in the background, now pressure is on Fnatic to get in here. They've got a kit on Crim, so they've got a little bit more time to work with, and they're going to get the kill there. JW now with a triple. He's going to go down to the back line. Sevis Flusher taking him out, and Crim's going to, in the smoke, just go for the defuse sentry. He can't stop it. He's going to drop, and it's a quad kill for JW, and the round for Fnatic. And such beautiful play from Fnatic as well. Once they figured out where Sentries was, both players basically body blocking. So even if Sentries was attempting to take out Crims, who was defusing, you'd have two guys that you'd have to shoot through basically to try and get that done. So perfect play there by Fnatic in the end. That secures them the 11th round here on their CT side. And we can see them just jumping straight up to the guns. Two rifles, but three SMGs. And two of them are P90s, man. Flush, I'm not surprised, but Olaf Meister, come on, man. It's a whole new, uh, a whole new low. But then they are playing against people who don't have armor, so that P90 is going to be, is going to be really good. Not that the MP7 or MP9, sorry, will be bad exactly. Flashbang in, and now LGB going to go for it. Underhand throw out the grenade. The MP9 is going to be a double kill and a triple at the end for Pronax. A lot of money in his bank account. And I'm surprised I don't see the cheeky grin there from Pronax after a kill like that. What's up, everybody? Uh, after a kill like that, perfect timing with the nade, and you can see how they just drop so much damage with no Kevlar to mitigate it, and that is a brutal round. But they got it over with quick. No plant for LGB that second time, but they will be able to afford the full AKs. A few nades to work with here as well. Okay, AK is going to be the important bit, though. It is going to come down to the aim for them here. An aggressive peek coming in here by JW. Two players set up, and he gets the spray battle on one. One for one trade in the A halls. Well, good adjustment from Jacob getting that kill, very important. And it's going to leave LGB with a bit of an edge and plenty of time as well. So maybe not quite worth it. And that's that's the kind of play where I'm starting to think like Fnatic are just doing whatever yeah. they feel. You know, a little bit more relaxed here. They know they have such a big round lead. They should be able to do it. It's going to be the aggressive push coming in there. And that's actually Flusher getting caught off guard by Jacob now, who's holding close. And so that bomb still dropped back in T-spawn, though. They're going to have to go and start picking that up at some point here, LGB, if they want to get onto this A site. They're looking for another kill, however. Just looking to stretch their lead. Olaf Meister pushes forward, but Polly was waiting for him. No tricks this time, and Jacob wins a straight-up fight versus Pronax on the A site. That will give uh, LGB the bomb site, so a free plant for them. And now Krim's basically crossing his fingers. You can see him with a bit of a sigh there. He's like, ah, they're probably not going to come over here. I'm no. just going to have to sit here and save my gun, essentially. Just admiring his own FAMAS for a while over there. Well, that's a really, really good round from Jacob. That triple kill is going to put him, well, not at the top overall, because I think that's a, he belongs to Fnatic still, but on his team, he's top fragging right now. And um, it's kind of what we were expecting as well. He is just a very solid aimer. 
and that's going to leave him basically trying to hold on to his gun. So no surprise there. Just a bit of a setback for Fnatic with all those kills on Pronax with the SMG in the last round. I mean, with the solid holds on the pistol and the second round, I think that uh, Fnatic shouldn't have too much trouble buying up in this next one, or at least putting together a reasonable buy. Whereas LGB, that was the first step back for them into this game. So there we go. They're on the board now on their T side. It's good work from the Norwegians, but there's a lot more ahead of them here, as we see the cup, what these teams are striving for. Yeah, and I mean, because it's Fnatic and because they saved the Famas, I'm actually surprised they're not going for more than they are right now. I agree. see set 75s, I thought maybe they'd try and, and... But this might be another one of those signs that they, they don't want to give any edge to LGB. They're saying, fine, you get this round on the seventh one, and then we're going to probably go for like a double up setup and, and shut you out of this game. That is actually really interesting. The quality of the here. Pronax speaks for with that P250 and wins straight up versus Polly. But there's three players waiting for him. It's Squeak and Crypto sweeping past. Take the fight and he's going to lose it. They lose Pronax as well. Shots through from Zevez and it's going to be Zevez holding A main as we can see. He's going to be looking towards CT. One of the players there for Fnatic trying to get some kind of attention going. But the three players now rotating in and the backstab coming in as well from Olofmeister trying to get into the back line. Little does he realize this bomb is actually up in Squeak. He could have dropped the bomb right there. Yeah, that would have been an interesting kill, but um, now it seems like LGB have managed to stabilize for just a little bit. And Flusher and Olofmeister are left, and I don't know, the best case here is stealing an AK somewhere. I, mean, I don't know where Polly died, but um, if they could do that, that'd be, that'd be the best. Flusher might be able to actually make it back up there. It is out in the open, though, so it's going to be tough for him to get in there. And now, basically, the flash comes around the corner. Zev is trying to be very thorough for Peak, but an instant shot from Flusho. What a headshot from him. Spots out the second man at quad boxes as well. You can tell all he wants is that rifle. All he wants is a gun. And he wouldn't even settle for another kill as well. So now passing that back off, hold on to the AK. Very smart play coming out here from Flusho. Essentially the clutch player for Fnatic. He's trying to shoot through the box, which he can do in the middle area there. To, uh, to find some effect, even with the rifle. So. 7 to 12, and the gap has been closed to at least a five round difference. Still a long ways away for LGB, but they're making this work, and, um, and you've got to respect that as well. You know, they are playing, they're playing Fnatic after all. You've got to take your time, right? You have to take your time about this. Focus on your game. That's exactly, that's like the mantra essentially that's being repeated right now. Focus on what you did in practice, focus on your game, take your time with it. And now Polly boosted up very rapidly here. Crims just beneath him, however. So if Polly overextends, Crims will be there to punish. Polly decides to take that one shot and then back off. Play it safe. JW with his own AWP just waiting. Yeah, and it's just the one up from Fnatic. I was wondering if they were going to go straight for a double up since they went for that save. Yeah. Uh, maybe they could have took on that because they did it at the end of the first half when they were on the terrorist side. So maybe they were just, uh, you know, feeling in the mood for it. But not right now. Just going to be JW. Pronax up on the box here. Position that we've seen used a couple of times now, it's become sort of more and more popular. Yeah, this is actually a good trade. And we saw them actually using this the other day as well. I mean, I believe Envy also they had Kiyoshima trying to play this position. It's now starting to get a bit more popular with the teams. It's not the common angle that they're used to seeing on the T side coming around that corner. But Pauly is leading the way here in Garrett, waiting for the peak, and he's going to get headshot through that box. Way too close for him, but Rubino is there to strike back, takes out Crims. And that makes it a two-man advantage now for LGB going into a bomb site take, and they're already outside of B site. They're ready to go in here. Zevez with a good read on the situation. There's the flash and the peak, and doesn't see anybody here. Nobody home for Fnatic. This means that LGB could actually walk in here and get the plant if they wanted to. But they're already going on towards this A site, and Pronax will not win the duel. Nicely done from LGB. They're really making this interesting now. Fnatic aren't going to have a lot of money to buy in the upcoming round, so... In fact, probably nothing, so this is uh, important. Seb is going to go around the corner, win that fight against JW, and it's up to Flusher now. You know, 1v5 to just try and hold on to this stolen AK that he made away with last time. They, they want it back somewhere. And they're coming hunting. There's no reason to let him live with five players alive like this for LGB. He's just on this angle, spots the man on high, goes for the spray, but that gives it away. Now they know, but Seb doesn't even need the help of his teammates. Seven points of health left, and he gets the job done solo. And that is another round on the board for LGB, who are slowly but surely coming back into this game. Very Fnatic right impressive. now, man. They are now it's, it's starting to get to the point where Fnatic are going to have to ask questions, figure out what we need to do to change things up. 
I mean, Fnatic were even playing reasonably safe that round, no big risks. I mean, the other round where they lost, they were sort of flashing themselves into main and losing those fights. This time they were playing fairly safely, so maybe the answer is going the opposite direction here. Polly just narrowly missing Pronax sneaking into the middle. This is going to be scary. Polly gets the kill. Pronax so close. He's going to run him down and pick up that AWP and make his way back into the middle, but set is Jacob there, and Jacob with a good double spray taking down Pronax and Flusher. It's going to be Crims alone once again in a 1v4 here, and 9 to 12. If I were Fnatic, I don't know if I would be scared, but I would at least be raising my eyebrow at this point and thinking, okay, like we, maybe we're gonna have to dig deeper than we wanted to on this map. I'm surprised to see so much emotion on Zealous every time he actually loses one of those duels. He really does get uh, pretty excited over there. Gonna need to get a rain on that if he wants to basically keep his teammates cool. Need to keep focused at this point. Yep, that, I mean, especially playing against Fnatic, you you got to keep your cool like that. But uh, he's also just the, the stand-in, and we always got the impression that he was uh, also sort of a bit of a temperamental player in that sense. So yeah. um, It seems like he's calling to me. I mean, it yeah. seems like he's the one calling the shots right now, so he needs to be sure to, to keep a rein on things and make sure that he's going to be able to, to give that confidence to the rest of his team by keeping this calm. Fnatic, I mean, it's going to be Crims holding, but I'm glad that you're bringing up the fact that they're playing very passively right now because that is also what we saw with, with them versus TSM, right, just in Frag White Masters last week. As soon as they start losing a handle on things, they play st safer and safer, more standard. Yeah, and that's, that could work, but right now, I'm thinking that they need to start thinking about taking a risk again. Like you're saying, you know, put a flash into A main, push in there, push squeak, get something going where you're going to catch LGB off guard, and you're going to be able to pick up that early frag to make the difference. Yeah, I mean, I'd actually, I'd actually love to see the counter boost. I don't think it's been tried in this best of one so far, yeah. and um, hope that LGB aren't quite ready for it. Counter double boosting, off, though. yeah, double up. It means power boosting is a little bit less likely, but it's not impossible. They are going to bring someone close to the vents anyway. All of Meister over here, and a good opening frag. More are coming in, and he's going to fall back. He spots everybody. He still goes down. Flusher, great double kill, but he's going to be dropped by Sevison. Now pushing in. Crims is going to fall. It's a 1v2 here. Jacob should be able to at least get the bomb down, which is going to help him a bit. He's got a Molotov as well. He could clutch this. Yeah, he could. They're coming in from both angles as well. One through B halls. But they're waiting for that smoke to clear so that they can work together. Jacob hoping to be able to turn this into a 1v1, and he's not going to do it. Pronax wins the duel. And that's the 13th round on the board now for Fnatic. It's actually pretty smartly played by uh, by Jacob, using that, that smoke as a wall entirely instead yeah. of waiting inside the bomb site, which I reckon a lot of other players would have done. Just like hoped that it could have worked, but um, he, I say he almost gave himself the best shot of doing it there. If yeah, well, he hits that a straight headshot, he will be almost certainly be able to guess where the other player is coming from. So it's not a bad idea. It's that act of desperation, really. It's what you have to do. You, you throw it out there, you turn it into a 1v1. If you do that, you've got, actually got a chance to clutch it. But Fnatic also playing that very carefully as well, not peeking until the smoke cleared. So really, Jacob was on that timer as soon as he committed to that position. And now we're going to get into the next round here. 23rd round, 13 rounds up for Fnatic, 9 for LGB. But LGB, thanks to the good start that they had, they're going to be able to go ahead and get another full buy on the board. AWP picked up on Polly and Quad AKs. Double AWP play again here for Fnatic, however, so... We'll see the angle here, and Olaf Meister right now dancing on the edge. But again, very safe play from Fnatic. They do have a man boosted up into vents once again, though. So we'll see if that actually works out. Flush are kind of hanging around here. I mean, this is a weird position to be playing with a P90. Let's, yeah. just, let's just say that. I mean, if someone comes up to that vent with an AK, they should probably win that fight. Good Molotov, though, to keep taking back, but it's Flusher after all. I don't know if I'm going to try and look for a reason, but um, normally you'd be playing somewhere else, almost anywhere else with a P90. Somewhere where you can get up close. Those bullets, they don't do too much damage. They don't do as much damage as a Colt, for example, or an M4. Now Olaf Meister, another smoke going down to block off the B hall, so that's gonna force LGB to start moving around, but 35 seconds left here for LGB. Flush it aside to take the fight straight up off for the peak fight, and he's gonna get it. Zevez is down. And then Crims catching out the man, trying to push through mid. That's Rubino dropped as well. Three players left here for LGB on the A site. And JW missing a key shot. That could have been the off down. That could have been Polly gone. Instead, Polly dancing on the edge, misses another one, JW. Where is that bomb plant? There's just 15 seconds left here. Crim's gonna pick up a kill. 10 seconds now. Just two people left for LGB. It's not looking good, but they are getting some kills in making it a 2v2. Polly's gonna miss the flick, and it's a double for Crim's. They line up for him, and I think that was a quad kill overall in the round for him. So very nicely done. 
and locking LGB just a step further out. And without the bomb plant as well, it means the Norwegian team here, they just won't have that much money left to buy with. It's getting into that really tough position now where they can end up losing the match just off the fact that they don't have the money to buy rifles. Yeah. It's gonna be, they're gonna be hard pressed here. They lose this round, yeah, it's gonna be really difficult yeah. for them. We'll see how this develops and it's looking like standard safe play here from LGB. They're setting up for a smoke round onto the A site. I'm hoping to catch Fnatic out, and it's looking like it might go flying pretty early here as well. There we go, 27, and they all go in. All the smokes landing on this site, and there's a Soul Man, although there is a second one pretty early on. Grims is in position on short, but JW holding by MDK, picks up one kill on A main, looks for another one. He's not going to hit it. He gets overwhelmed by Polly, and now it's going to be Grims alone with help from short. Yeah, nice grenade in as well. That bomb plant needs to happen quick, and Polly's going to put it down. The default plant, it's going to be Sentry's playing close here to the forklift, and does he hear anyone running above him? I'm not sure he did. He's still sort of looking the wrong way. Flusher spraying but missing, jumping down and catches the kill, but then comes the return. Polly with a double kick and take that one and a double kill, and it's going to be LGB winning. Very critical round there, 10 to 14. And I wonder what Fnatic's economy looks like now, because they did invest in that double up. It's an expensive buy, and they only survived the previous round with two members alive, so it can't be that good. No, you're right. It is going to be a bit tense, and they really do look quite tense, actually. You know, apart, apart from that earlier uh, moment where we saw them kind of giggling, JW and Flusha, uh, ever since then, it's been looking a little, uh, little dour over there. So it is going to be 2,000 pretty much across the board here for Fnatic. Not enough to get a full buy on, and definitely not enough for them to want to risk giving away their lead. So they will go ahead and give another round here to LGB with the Pistol Eco, and then we'll see what happens in the next round once they have some rifles. 20 kills on Jacob as well. He's actually tied us with the top on the two for, for Fnatic. We've got the same ratio, so um, not at all bad. Rubino and JW having a standoff, although they don't know it, but um, just waiting for someone to be the first guy to open that door. It's the patience game. JW knows. He's like, I know somebody's over here. Every time you're going to be putting somebody through. Well, let's say, nah, JW decides to push. He gets a little bit uh, impatient there. Rubino catching him out. And that force is actually a little bit, well, not, doesn't really force the rotation. The rotation was already on, on route, it looks like. Pronax now going to be backing up Crims on that A site. But LGB slowly but surely infiltrating mid. They do get spotted, however, so the man holding in mid, Flusha, going to be able to call that out to his mates. And Olafmeister is about to get toasty. Runs out and catches Sevens with a nade in his hand. What timing for Olafmeister. That might have actually been because he stood in that fire for just long enough that Severs thought, okay, there's not going to be anyone there. Like, no one would be silly enough to just fan in the fire and burn for a while. And um, there's all of Meister for you. Now they should get the bomb down here, no problem. Rubino also picking up an important kill there onto Pronax, who was otherwise going to be flanking in. And LGB is in full control here. There's really no risk that Fnatic is going to do much. Well, it's a good shot there. Second one as well. What is going on? LGB that didn't play it safe, and Sentries goes down. Oh, no. Rubino now going to come in, try and see if he can save this situation. He's going to burn, and Crims will take him out. Fnatic. They steal it away, and that was a huge mistake on LGB's part. That was locked down in the vault. Back number was put in there, no problem at all. And then it got stolen away just because they did a couple of risky peaks for There's absolutely no gain. Yeah, trying to take out Flusha. But this is the start of it all, and you're right. I think it was the no, delay. Zevez actually runs around with the nades. Like, He's setting it up. This is a hilarious kill, but it, ha it should have no impact on the round at all. Like, once right. LGP get in and they've got four people and yeah. the bomb down, and they're playing against people who have only pistols, that's a lock. Like, locked completely. That is... Yeah, you can't do that to Fnatic. They will take that and run with it. That, that was probably the map just lost now. Oh, we'll see, they have the force coming out, and they're going to do what Fnatic did to them, essentially try and rush onto the B site. Olafmeister holding solid, though, takes the fight. One for one trade there, but Krims is rotated in, holding on the site itself. He gets overwhelmed, though, so we're into a three on three, and the plant will be going down for LGB at this point. Flusha trying to hold on high, looking for somebody to make the same mistake as last round, go for that peak. But it looks like LGB might have learned their lesson. They're holding very passively at this point. They give to Fnatic nothing. Yeah, they should have learned the lesson. You can only do that once. Flusher peeking in to hit the kill on Polly, and now Sentry is outside. He will pick up a kill there on Flusher. It's back into a 2v2. Uh, Rubino also is still alive. They don't have any Molotovs to stop Fnatic from defusing, but they've planted in a great spot here so they can actually see it. Sentry's going to be walking in the smoke. Not going to work here. Nice brace. A quad kill from Sentry's currently. One more for the ace, but JW looks to be running away. So LGB are going to make it 15-11. Huge round from Sentries, and yeah, you can see the hype getting up there on LGB. They've managed to stave it off one more round.
But that is, uh, they still have a lot to go because both of these teams are going to be very low on money at this point. T sign just like on the CT. And JW, good on JW. He, he got that first kill, yeah. and then you saw that, that moment where he's like, do I run in or not? And decides to play it safe, hold on to that off so they can have something to work with in this round. Now, I'm not going to try and be unpleasant here, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep a mental count in my head of that round that absolutely was one from LGB, which would have made this uh, a 14-12 scoreline instead for LGB. Let's see if it's really going to make such a big difference. That's, uh, that's a mistake you can only make once in your career, essentially. <laughs> Especially if you want to make it through this double elimination format group. You lose this, it's one map, two maps, you're out of the tournament. So. Oh, I mean, at this point, every LGB member should just go out and get it to two with a, with a date. You know, just like every time they're in, a, they're in that situation again, just look over at their shoulder and think, oh yeah, I remember what happened last time when we did this. This is, that's really, really big. Because you're right, you only get two chances to, to essentially win the map. And there's going to be Polly. Taking out Pronex. Good start here, and they found JW. They could rotate away, and they're gonna get him killed instead. That's even better. JW gone down all of Meister with a single kill in. Flush your last man standing. And he looks to be losing this fight with Polly. So 12 to 15, or what would have been 14, 13. I'm gonna keep counting some. Yeah, up. you go for it, dude. I'm glad that Flusher wants to draw it out as well. Doesn't want it to end fast. He's gonna take his time. But Polly will hunt them down in the end, and we will have another round on the board here for LGV. The Norwegian team holding their own against the best in Sweden and the best in the world, essentially. But Vugo. Really impressive stuff. Yeah, Vugo as well, the new coach. You guys will notice that Devil Walk is no longer standing behind Fnatic. Vugo instead will be filling that role. Yeah, because Devil Walk is actually here instead. Yeah, I, we saw playing. him in the play outfit yesterday, and that, that was like a good throwback. Like, yeah. Devil Walk playing again. That's right. Look at Fnatic, they're down to C-Set 75, to a single 5-7 there as well. And I like the fact that, you know, C-Set all, all of a sudden making a comeback here for Fnatic. Yeah. That used to be the, the real power that they had uh, playing them and Envy so good with this pistol. And it's going to be another A smoke round coming out here from LGB. They are going to commit behind us, it looks like as well. Zeta's taking a bit of a fight over on B-Site with Crims. Crims just making sure that he hangs back, and this is a fake from LGB. They threw the nades, they executed quick, but then not realizing, of course, that uh, there's only a soul man over here. Crims is going to be able to get, uh, well, hold on, and Crims is actually picking up a kill. Pronax as well. This B-side play coming out pretty well here for LGB. Fnatic trying to flank around here is JW. He did spot someone out, but Flusher is going to go down in flames, and Pronax and JW left. They've got the AK, but... Um, with the bomb being put down in that corner, planted for Checkered, which is where Sevis is. It should be a lock once again here. Pronax goes down. JW does some damage, but gets dropped by Sevis. And that will be another round now for the Norwegian team. This is turning into an incredibly tense match and a big sign of trouble for Fnatic. We were praising them earlier in this game, saying, look, they're playing so safely and solidly. They look like they are, they're, you know, they're right on the right track. And now it's a little bit more tricky. And I just got to point out again, Semler, this is where we would have been at 14-14 if they had actually not thrown that round away. There's two sides to that card, right? You're playing so safely, but then is that also due to a lack of confidence? Should you be playing like a bully instead? If you're the best, play like the best and just dominate LGB outright. So there are some, uh, there are some things to be looked at here for Fnatic. But it's going to be a buy coming out for Fnatic now. Four rifles and the AWP, and Olaf Meister instead will be taking the off over here on the B side as well. LGB, though, playing it very carefully on their side. They, want, they realize that Fnatic are under pressure at this point. They don't want to give it away to Fnatic or easy. And, oh, this is, the, this is going to be a, dis a decent change. JW actually getting boosted up. Nobody, neither team has attempted this yet on this map. So this might actually catch LGB off guard when they come onto this A site. And they are going to commit to the A site this time as well. Yeah, nobody going speedway to so JW. No one spotted him out yet, but they do lose Pronax. And JW gets a double kill. He drops still a good trade going on here until Flusher shows up with the kill. And Polly with a nice return is going to bring it into a two. 2v2, very little health on Polly, and I think he just caught a bit of grenade damage as well to bring him down to one health. That's incredible. Now the bomb plant is going to go through, but a lot of this is going to come down to Jake, and he's had an incredible game so far, but now he's been called up on to really step it up with the AK in the back lines. Molotov probably going to force him out a bit there, and who's waiting on the other side? It's going to be Olaf Meister, and a double right at the end there. Krim's taking one, Olaf with the other one, and Fnatic are going to steal it away. It was close, but not close enough.